All right, everybody, down to business. Oh, man. Whew, where to begin? Black Friday sale, Tackle Warehouse. I believe 37 items were shipped to me. Um, definitely took advantage of their Black Friday sale, 20% off everything, an extra 10% off a Strike King and Gambler, which coincidentally are quite a few of the lures that uh, and plastics that I use, so it kind of made it easy picking some things out. So I went after the season ended here. It's uh, about an hour away from being December 1st, and uh, definitely fall bite has ended for me. Um, I don't do winter fishing or ice fishing here. I focus on my family over the winter. Uh, up into the spring before I head out again on the weekends. So decided to this year went through my tackle boxes ahead of time and started cleaning things out. Lures I didn't like, didn't use, tried but didn't like, bought but never used. I sold a bunch of them off. Uh, so basically what I purchased here I uh, didn't use into my normal budget. It was all done through being able to sell off old lures and old tackle and old rods and reels that uh, I've since upgraded or no longer used to purchase this. So I got a ton of stuff in here. I'm going to go through a bunch of it and uh, show you guys what I got. So I hope you enjoy. And here we go. First thing I got here, I got some uh, new jerk baits. I got two of the I'm a Flit uh, 100s. And first one is a Ghost Minnow. Second one is Ghost Tennessee Shad. Uh, I didn't have any clear water uh, ghost jerk baits of theirs. I got a couple other ones, so I wanted to pick these up. These were, again, everything that's in here was at least 20% off. So these are some of my newer favorite jerk baits that I'm started using, and so I was excited to pick up some of these on sale. So a couple jerk baits. Gambler plastics. Uh, got two packs of the Gambler Swebo. Uh, first one, Red Bug. And second one, Peppergrass, Red Bug, a uh, kind of an oxblood red, green flake color, and the Peppergrass is a purple June Bug, uh, green flash type color there. So I have uh, your, your classic green pumpkin. I want to get ones that have a little different colors uh, that I haven't used this year, so I wanted to try these out. Like Gambler Plastics. Um, caught one of my biggest fish this year on a Gambler uh, Flappy Daddy. Coincidentally, that's what comes out of here next. Uh, Shadow Blue, my favorite color for the Flappy Daddy. It's, uh, black with a... It's like black with blue flake, except uh, it's it's a more condensed... It's going to be more dense coloring with the blue flake than a standard one. And then Florida 5.0. Green Pumpkin. Watermelon Red. Good color there, like that. And got... Gambler uh, Forge Flippin' Tube in black and blue. We're gonna hopefully next year make it up to Lake Erie and use some small fishing. So I wanted to get some more tubes, so I got the Gambler four inch flipping tube. Blue with black fake. Hope we can see that there. And then I got some swim baits. I got the Gambler Little Easy in Tennessee Shad. And the Gambler Big Easy in Ghost Shad. That's what I got from Gambler. Let's see, now uh, Strike King plastics were on sale, so I picked up some of those. Uh, I got the 4-inch Game Hog and Blue Crawl. I really like this color here. Um, never really fished with these before, so I saw them, figured I'd pick them up and uh, give them a try next year. So I really like the color. Um, I'm going to use those. Coffee tubes, 4.5-inch flipping tubes there, too. This is a Crazy Crawl. And... My buddy and I are planning a trip already for next fall to Kentucky Lake. And so I picked up a pack of bullworms. Picked up the bullworms, kind of forgotten how big these things were. Uh, but these are gigantic 10 inch uh, worms I got in June bug. Uh, I'm gonna have to get uh, some Trocar Magnum worm hooks for these things here, but these things are just gigantic. So, uh, 
We'll be super excited to try these out next year at the Kentucky Lake. There's really no lakes here in Northeast Ohio that I think I have fish that are big enough to where I would really warrant having to throw one of these things. So I'll be saving these for this trip. But they were on sale, 30% off, so I picked up a pack. I wrapped up my plastics that I got. So here's some of the terminal tackle. I got some two aught uh, trailer hooks for my new buzz baits and uh, spinner baits that I got. So it's Strike King trailer hooks, two aught. And then I picked up some Mustad hooks. I got uh, three sixteenth ounce uh, wacky hooks. So I have a eighth ounce that I use for uh, my light spinning gear, but for my jig and worm rod, I got these. If I want to throw a full five inch uh, Yamasenko on those, that'll definitely put me up close to the quarter ounce, if not more weight and make it much easier to throw and flip these around. So I got these, and then I got two of the Mustad um, stand-up shaky head, or stand-up jig heads, and got it in quarter ounce and three-eighths ounce. So try those. I got some bigger six and a half inch uh, worms and some bigger craw type baits to use. I'm gonna try with those this, uh, this spring coming up. Um, drag these along, uh, especially early April, mid-April, when our first tournament of the year will be coming up here. I know that's four or five months away, but um, you know, learn from my some of my mistakes last year, early in the year fishing tournaments. So, um, was trying too much power fishing, too much moving baits when I should have been focusing more on jerk baits and dragging the bottom with jigs, shaky heads, worms, things like that. So I definitely got these to change that up. And quarter ounce, three eighths ounce, a little heavier. Uh, and now we're going to go into uh, all the hard baits that I got from Strike King. So. Two new uh, buzz baits: the uh, bleeding bait, elite buzz bait, three eighths ounce, uh, white and black. Stick basic colors with my buzz, uh, my buzz baits. So three eighths ounce. I got a new topwater rod set up uh, that I'll be starting using into next year. Uh, but if you check some of my other videos, you'll see I caught a, a nice muskie this year at West Branch Reservoir on a three eighths ounce buzz bait. That was happened to be a War Eagle uh, black and gold buzz bait. But uh, again, these ones. With being on sale, I do need some newer buzz baits, and these ones will work out just fine. Got three new spinner baits. The first one I got is the Strike King Pro 38 38 Special. Uh, this one actually has a weed guard. These are bigger willow leaf than the uh, burner ones that I have, which I'll show you next. But the, all my spinner baits I got are three eighths ounces. Those are the that's the weight I like. I don't um, like a heavier half ounce, you know, some, even above that, three, up to three quarter ounce. Um, bigger the fish here in Northeast Ohio, you don't need to fish something that gigantic to fish to get uh, decent sized two, three, four pound bass, which here in Northeast Ohio, two, three, four pound bass are decent sized bass. Um, four pounders are really big. The biggest bass we caught in our uh, tournament fishing this year was about three and a half pounds. Um, biggest one that they that uh, in the actual tournament somebody caught was closer to five. So um, gigantic fish in Northeast Ohio sometimes just aren't very common. So uh, when I throw spinner baits, I usually don't go above three eighths of an ounce. I have some quarter ounce ones, and I've got some, also some ultralight ones that I'll throw in my ultralight rig. Uh, but they got the 38 special, and one of the things uh, about that, if you can see right there, it does have a grass guard. This buzz there. Excuse me. This uh, the spinner bait is designed to go through uh, heavier grass without it getting caught up in the blades itself. So it makes it a better weedless option to throw. So I got that in white. And then I got two of the Strike King Burner. Uh, these are also willow blades. And they are, as you can see from the before to the 38 special, they are thinner willow, bl willow blades. These are meant to be burned a little faster when you bring them in. Uh, but I got two different kinds. I got the Sexy Shad and the um, Bleeding uh, Smoking Shad there and both with gamakatsu hooks so really good strong super sticky hooks there um gold uh gold and silver willow for that one and actually gold and silver willow for this one too and these again are both in the three eighths ounce weight that's my uh my sweet spot for the weight for my spinner baits and uh all sorts of blade baits i use so three eighths ounce is what i prefer to use for that i got a couple new spooks um, the Strike King Sexy Dog Juniors in the Clearwater Minnow. 
Sorry, this is the Sexy Ghost Minnow, not Clear Water Minnow. And then the Blue Gizzard Shad. So we needed a couple new Top Water Spooks, so pick those up. Continuing with the Top Water, I got uh, two, uh, two more poppers from Strike King. I got the Natural Shad uh, Strike KVD Splash uh, Top Water Popper, 3 8 ounce. And then I also got the, this is the Clear Water Minnow. Uh, 3 8 ounce popper as well too so that'll wrench round out my poppers Let's see there that is the natural shad and then this one is the ghost minnow three of the strike king red eye shads um, two and half ounce and one and a quarter ounce two half ounce I got is uh, this first one is the 18 karat gold Tennessee shad and this one is the Silver Tennessee Shad. And this one right here is the quarter ounce that I got uh, for the Red Eye Shad. This is the Sexy Ghost Minnow. Uh, again, I got, um, you'll see with this purchase, I got a few of almost every kind of something that's a, more of a clear water bait. So the Sexy Ghost or the Clear Water Minnow for my uh, Sexy Dog Junior, my popper for this right here. Um, I didn't have... Um, a lot of baits that were more clear water baits um, when we'll be fishing portage lakes in the spring here in northeast Ohio the water clarity there is usually, there's parts that like they're extremely clear uh, and also um, parts of uh, Mosquito Lake when we go out there and which will probably be either May or June there would be earlier in the year that water out there is also very clear too so wanted to get some more clear natural looking baits um, but I definitely like the gold and silver coated uh, red eye shads there. Um, so again, three of those there to add to my tackle box. Ah, here we go. Um, Strike King Sexy Spoon. Uh, as I mentioned a little bit earlier, we're planning a trip down to uh, Kentucky Lake. Uh, that's where our classic tournament will be uh, next year for the uh, TBX Team Bass Extreme Bass Tournament here in Northeast Ohio. And uh, ledge fishing, deep water fishing. I don't have a spoon big enough or deep enough to do that, so I uh, did some research. I uh, went with the 4-inch myself. Uh, I uh, will determine if I'm going to get set a rig set up to do the bigger 5-inch um, spoon, which is well over an ounce. This one is 7 eighths of an ounce. So, But this is something good to start. I've never done it before, so this would be something interesting for me to try. I'm looking forward to it. Only a couple lakes that I fish here in Northeast Ohio, outside of maybe going up to Lake Erie, where I would fish something like this, where it's deep enough and the fish would be big enough. Um, for something like this, this would be good for, say, West Branch Reservoir, where I could catch um, bass, um, musky, pike, or uh, walleye fishing something like this in the deep water, because there's areas of there where it's 30, 40 feet deep uh, along the uh, channels throughout the middle of the lake. So this is something that I may get to try in the season here in Northeast Ohio, but otherwise in the fall when I head down to Kentucky Lake. Uh, that's, I specifically bought this for this, just like I did uh, earlier. You saw the bullworm. So, uh, this is a green gizzard shad um, color in the Strike King Sexy Spoon 7 8 ounce. Got a couple 5 16th ounce swim jigs, um, Sexy Shad, and Bluegill. I only had a couple swim jigs. Um, so I wanted to stock up on a few more of those. These are the two common colors that I like to use for that. Uh, the Sexy Shad and the Bluegill, which are the two common forage for bass here in Northeast Ohio, either Bluegill or Small Shad, depending on the, the lake you're at. So most lakes have both. Some may only have Bluegill, um, but Shad are a pretty common color uh, fish here in the uh, most of the lakes here in Northeast Ohio for forage for bass. So picked up a couple of the Strike King Swimming Jig. Um, this is the tour grade one. Again, these are 5 16 ounce. Alrighty, and then last but not least, rounding out the order here for my lures. Uh, I'm going into the crankbaits. Um, no Strike King purchase would be complete without picking up some... Uh, some one KVD 1.5. So again, this is the Strike King KVD 1.5 crankbait. Uh, if you've done any bass fishing for any sort of time, you are familiar with what these are. Um, so I've got three of these here. This is the again clear water minnow. Strike King KVD 1.5. This is Tennessee shad, and this is the natural brim. All in the 1.5. 
uh, version. These will go down three to five feet um, depending on uh, diameter of line that you're using, type of rod, and these things just flat out catch fish everywhere, especially here in Ohio when I use them. So added some more of these to diversify the colors of my tackle box. And then last of the lures I got, I got two Strike King uh, 5XDs, deeper diving crankbaits. Um, fit round out my deep diving crankbait box. I like these ones. This is the uh, Strike King um, X 5XD series, extra deep. Um, these ones are a little smaller size, like so. A few of the 6XDs are very are a bigger, bulkier, and chunkier bait to use. Uh, these ones um, are not, so these are more um, streamlined baits. Um, but we'll also get down to up to 15 feet, depending on the line uh, weight that you use and the type of rod and reel set you're losing, using. So, again, the first one here is Tennessee Shad. It's net. And then the last one I have here is... This is Silver Tennessee Shad. It almost looks gold, um, but it is Silver Tennessee Shad. These are the 5XDs. And then, last thing that I got is the Plano 3700. Um, this is the 3701 series. Um, shallow pro latch stowaway box. This is where I'm going to be putting my terminal tackle in now. I have my terminal tackle split between two smaller boxes, um, but I wanted to condense it all into one box. I needed some more room for to organize my hooks, my weights, and things instead of going between two separate boxes to get out hooks. You know, one one box for one for hooks, the other box for lures. I just wanted to condense it all into one box here, so I picked this up because this was on sale. And then the usual freebies. Uh, that they give you tackle warehouse sticker, free T-shirt. So those of you that uh, um, buy stuff from tackle warehouse, when you get the free T-shirt, I think you guys have a decent idea how much I spent. But again, it was all done with money that I had used selling off old gear over the, uh, in the last month or two. So uh, I was able to save up, sell off old gear to buy all this new gear. So I'm super excited about that uh, tackle warehouse sticker. So. Um, won't see more fishing videos posted for me uh, until spring, until that would probably be at the earliest March here in Northeast Ohio. Um, so in the meantime, guys, hang around, check out the channel. I'll be posting things periodically on um, unboxings. I still get my Lucky Tackle boxes every month. I kind of held off doing some of those to give me something to do over the winter, so I'll be at least doing one of those a month. And then I'll be doing other things, uh, maybe a few tutorials on some knot tying, um, real maintenance maybe. Um, I prefer to just uh, take my reels to a local fish shop here. I know the guys really well and they give me a good deal to clean and service my reels and so they're professionals. prefer to let them do it. Uh, but I definitely will be doing a video coming up on my uh, rod and reel arsenal going for into next year because like I said I sold off some of my old rods and reels, uh, upgraded it with uh, newer, nicer stuff. Um, so all of my bait casters are all now, uh, with the exception of one, my 13 fishing rig I have, they're all Daiwa, so I'll show you all those. Um, what line I use for what reel and what application I have, whether it be for topwater, pitching and flipping, um, jig and worm, frog rod, um, crankbaits, those types of things. So I'll kind of go through that and show you all those uh, for you guys in some future videos. So keep paying, uh, checking back in for stuff like that. Appreciate you guys uh, checking in with me, t checking out the video. Give me a thumbs up. Give me a like. Subscribe. Appreciate the support. And uh, hopefully I'll get to see you guys here soon. Uh, appreciate it and let's always do our part here to protect our lakes parks and natural resources so we can continue to pass this great tradition of fishing down to uh, our children and future generations to come so this is Tony K with Neobass Fishing appreciate you guys and uh, have a good one and we'll see you next time